This is a review of an Asus EEE netbook. I bought this three years ago from Woot.com. It's the 900A model. It originally came with a 4 gigabyte SSD hard drive and also 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, Linux was pre-installed into this. And so, as you can see, after three years, it's in pretty good condition. The RAM is very easy to change. You just have to remove this uh, piece over here and you have access to the RAM. Only one slot, so you have to get a maximum. You can upgrade up to a maximum of 2 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM. Okay, so on to the review. I installed Windows XP. It's just regular Windows XP. Here's the keyboard and I'll be showing you the screen. XP runs okay on this. It takes roughly a minute to two minutes to boot up. So what can I say about this netbook after owning it for three years? It's pretty slow, <clears throat> but definitely not unusable. Uh, multitasking is definitely out of the question. Even at two gigabytes of RAM, the biggest thing that's slowing down this computer this netbook is really the SSD, the slow SSD. So after a minute or 50 seconds, we see the Windows screen, but still it's not usable. It's still loading up. So after about 30 or 40 seconds, we'll be able to use the netbook. So I'll show you. Go over to Chrome. Now try to open it. And it's going to take a few seconds to load. still loading and it finally loads. So when it's only running one application it's not so bad so let's go to msn.com Sites that are heavy in Flash and JavaScript they take a while to load as you can see I'm trying to go to MSN right now it's taking quite a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we're on uh, any of today's current netbooks that run those, the dual core processors or even i3 processors, we'd be up and running in a few seconds. But as you can see, it loads up. You can click on a link and show you that works like any other netbook just takes a few seconds for it to load a page see I'm just going to Fox Sports but it's taking a few seconds to load and sometimes it even pauses while it's loading the page so definitely if you're thinking about buying this netbook off of eBay or some other used fashion like Craigslist, uh, know that it's a pretty slow netbook. So let me close this and I'll show you how quick it takes to open a JPEG file. Again, it takes a few seconds. It's especially slow when you close an application and open another application. So here's me scrolling through a few pictures. Again, it takes a few seconds for it to load. Let's close that again. Let's look at uh, how long it takes to load a PDF. It takes a few seconds to load. If you're okay with waiting that long, maximizing it takes a few seconds. And now scrolling through the pages, it's loaded. <clears throat> How about looking at opening a document? It's actually fairly quick, but it'll take a while. I can I use use it to type my Word document. Again, as you can see how slow it is doing normal tasks, uh, let's see about watching a video. 
go to my hard drive right now only has about 200 megabytes left typically if you remove as much as possible and optimize it you could probably have around 700 or 800 megabytes left over so let's look at this 720p video it's a dot mov file as you can see it can run okay the sound on it's just okay I won't be testing the sound on this so as you can see there's 720p it's running okay typically you might have stutter especially with AVI files or MKV files there might be some stuttering <clears throat> at at higher resolutions like 720 or 10 definitely 1080p it can't support that um, the last thing I wanted to talk about was file copying. 